Hey YouTube, it's Dan here. Welcome back to an episode of Pokemon Black and White 2. So, if you remember last episode, we actually caught a Nagi or a Pidoff level 11. Uh, and we also got Dakwood to level 11. And Alda said we need to go and see him in his house over here. So, let's go and pop in to see him. Also, free item over here. Well, hey, X speed. I'm not complaining about that. Free items are always the best ones. But yeah, we did heal up off screen. And yes, what up? Oh, are we going to help train this person, sir? Really? But that trainer looks really tough. That's right. This trainer may be tough, but you can learn from losing as well. More, more importantly, I have, haven't I been telling you just to enjoy battles? Dan, please, please be their opponent. Don't worry, I will. I'll show you what, what's cool about my opponent, my Pokemon even. So these trainers are a bit different. A lot of trainers just have um, like default Pokemon, but these Pokemon change depending on your star Pokemon. Since we chose Snivy, this guy's gonna have a Pampaw. If we chose Tepe, he would have a Pansage, and if we chose Oshawa, he would have Pansia, which is obviously the weakness to our star Pokemon. But we're gonna lead off with good old Nagi. Nagi is pretty powerful, to be honest. I've had quite a bit of uh, trouble actually with this game. Like, this game is so hard, especially with like the lack of healing points. It is such a big struggle, you know what I mean? Like some of the battles in this game, you have to go all the way back to our starting village, I can't remember what it's called, Adelia City or something, or Asperia City, something like that. And it's kind of annoying just to actually heal up, because there's no Pokemon centers in this part of the, in part of the game, other than the, rain, the ranch, I said the ranch then. Uh, but yeah, obviously Nagi is a boss and he's going to win this for us. Yeah, that's how we do it Nagi, that's how we do it. And uh, we get good old damage experience, 143 experience, that's pretty good. See more. I'm doing what Alda told, t taught me. Yes, I, I see. That was a fine battle, both of you. Well, next we have. Ready. First, we will have to heal your Pokemon, Dan. Thank God. Thank Christ. Some Pokemon battles are decided by tape matchups. So, obviously, she's going to have a type advantage. So, if you chose Snivy, she would have Pansia. If you chose Tepic, she would have Pampo. And if you chose Oshawott, she would have Pansage. And uh, her name's Cassie. Well, hey. I had to know a girl called Cassie. I do like the name Cassie. Not Casey, Cassie. I don't know why I'm not a fan of the name Casey. Uh, shots fired. But uh, I like the name Cassie. It just seems more. more my cup of tea. You know, I'm really picky with like names of my. Like when I have children, I'm going to be really picky with what names I give them. I don't know really why that is. I just. I feel like there's only certain names I do like. I'm really picky. Like, I really like the name Luna. And I really like the name of um, Dan Jr. Don't know why I like that one though. Uh, but yeah, I like the name Luna. I think I'm going to name my first girl Luna, if I do have a girl. But yeah, let's get back to the topic. We nearly won this Pansia. Stab is just an amazing, amazing thing to have, you know? Look at that. We won. We dominated. Nagi grew to level 12, which means he's powerful than our star Pokemon. Now, we can't remember this. We're going to switch out in a second. But uh, we beat Casey. How, what? How could I have lost in a tight matchup? It's, it's, my, it's my star Pokemon, bro. That was a truly rousing battle. I could tell that all of the Pokemon were enjoying themselves really well, especially when we killed them. How about the, how about it, Dan? Pokemon types are very important in battle, aren't they? Water is strong against fire, fire is strong against grass, and grass is strong against water. Type matchups don't decide everything, though. But listen, when a Pokemon uses a type that matches its move, the move becomes more powerful. Like I mentioned, Stab. Let's heal those hard-working Pokemon. Pidov, you did a great job for Dan. Yes, he did. Me and Pokemon and people you never would have met otherwise. It's truly one of the great things about traveling. It is, isn't it? So what do we wait? Can we see one of these Pokemon? No, we can't. Where, where do we go now, Alda? Where do we go? Um, I have actually got no idea where we go. Um, oh, who who's this guy? It's Stone as well. I know it's a sudden, but nice to meet you. Now, don't say anything. Just take this. Um, what the hell is that? You obtained the metal box. Um, this is a metal box. And they call me Mr. Metal. By the way, do you know what a competition called Metal, metal Rally is? No. Whether or not, I'll explain it to you. The Metal Rally is an event that evaluates various activities of, of trainers. Oh, so in, commor in commemoration of the, your participation, please take this medal. And we get a medal, a first step medal. And some of the medals, I'll give you a hint. Six in the Oh, I see. It's kind of like achievements, isn't it? For, for your information, you can get medals. If you meet their conditions, go to the Pokemon Center and see if you can get medals from me one after another. First, use your metal box and go inside. Okay. So I'm guessing if you don't know where to go, you can use the hint, the hint box or something. Um, I'll do the what I just got. Dan, 
As the newly opened Pokemon Gym in Asperius City, I hear that the new gym leader has actually arrived. You should go and test out how strong you become. Okay, I will do that. So the first gym is already in the third episode, it's mental. I want to look at this um, thing, I also want to put um, my uh, Daco into first because he is the weakest right now. But uh, let's go to Bark and actually put in, actually look at this thing even. The whole metal box, I don't know what it's about. So. It looks like some kind of achievements. A manual for the wed the manual is wedged in. Press A. Press the A button when the curse is highlighted on a medal. Or tap the box. Okay. That medal will be registered as your favorite medal. Your favorite medal can be shown to other players. Press start on the icons. Okay. So you can see. Uh, oh my god, it's dated this video. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, we actually got loads of hit medals. So I'm guessing we get more medals as it comes on comes along you know like secret I don't know like achievements to show showcase I guess that's how it works I don't really know but let's head back to Esperia City uh, since that's where the gym is it appears news to me eh uh, I'm not complaining as a gym there but let's go and heal up I know we just got healed up but we might get a medal for it I don't know if I'm going to go for the medals or anything because I don't know how you get them I'm getting a lot I'm guessing a lot of them's like catch all the Pokemon in black and white too and stuff like that you know what I mean so hopefully we can get that if not it's fine it's fine what up, Dan? I've been waiting for you. You're you're doing terrific. Here's a no, new medal, and we've got a copper one. It's not a gold one though, is it? Dowsing beginner. Well, aim to receive 50 medals. Good luck. Okay, uh, that's our aim, I guess. No idea what to expect from that. So let's head back to Spirit City. No idea how far it is. Dan. Um. Oh my God, it's Alder. He's back again. <laughs> Why are you always up on this cliff? Why are you always up on this cliff, Alder? It's mental. Um, excuse me, I forgot to tell you something important. First, take these. Potions? Orange berries. Oh, I haven't talked about that yet. Okay. Oh, these are orange berries. You give it to a Pokemon and HP will be restored. What's more is that you can give a berry a berry to a Pokemon to hold. Like an orange berry, for instance, when a Pokemon holds this berry, it can eat the berry if it gets hurt in the heat of battle and regain some of its lost HP. Well, I just told you to challenge the gym leader, a spirit city. It is a very strong trainer. But you haven't got you have got nothing to worry about. If if you think hard about what you what the Pokemon at your side can do, and what you you should do as a trainer, victory is yours. And then you can take on stronger and stronger trainers. Actually, take on the gym leaders of each city. Working together with your Pokemon is what makes you grow as a trainer. And you and your Pokemon will grow stronger. Your world will get broader. Thank you, Elder. Love you. So uh, yeah, we've always got information to actually go to the gym over here. Uh, Aspirus here. We don't know who's a gym leader or anything. It hasn't actually been mentioned, but uh, we did heal up. So if we do lose, we can just check. But I'm pretty sure the first gym isn't going to be that hard. Let's be honest here. We're smart, you know. We're not too bad. It's not there, is it? I remember we went there on the first episode, which is like over here and through here. Yeah. So uh, what's up? I asked Alder from Flosses you little bit time to teach me here. He declined, saying that it was. The, new, the era of young people now. Sorry about that, so I actually walked in my room, but we just talked to this girl. Anyways, let's continue on. I don't know where we are. This is actually the gym, I actually think it is, yeah. Do you use items during the Pokemon battles? If you do, try this. And we get an extra defend. I'm not really a fan of X items. X items are like uh, stat increasing moves which you can use throughout the game, when you're in battles and stuff. Do you know how you can have your Pokemon hold items? Well, it seems like a lot, like they don't know how to how to use items made by people, like potions. Okay then, um, a bit confusing. But I don't know if you can hear that in the background, my dog's in the same room as me now, he's just come in. Normal type Pokemon are weak to fine type Pokemon, but the only Pokemon around here which is like that is Ryolu. If you're gonna go, if you go into battle with a fire, water, or grass type Pokemon, it'll be a sure ten, uh, st uh, test of strength. There's a technique that enables you to cancel evolution. Here, read the textbook on it. If you press the B button, it'll stop evolving, evolving, which I don't know why you would do that. It's really rare. But we are now at the first gym. Hello, my name is Clyde, and I'm the guide for trainers who want to challenge Pokemon gyms. Thank you. Thank you for taking on the gym. Take this as a commemorate to commemorate your debut. And we get a free fresh wall, which is 50 HP for free, which is pretty good. Pokemon gyms are facilities for testing trainers' abilities. Put simply, if you de defeat the gym leader, it means that you're a really good trainer. If you run out of Pokemon that can fight during a battle, you lose. So having a lot of Pokemon with you can work in your advantage. 
So you mentioned that fine type Pokemon are really good for this. Hopefully we can actually use some kind of fine type Pokemon. I don't actually know. I really don't want to use that because I want to stick to my two Pokemon, but you must be a challenger. Welcome to the Spirit Espirita City Pokemon Gym. My name is Cherin, I'm the gym leader. So if you don't know, Cherin was a companion in the last game. In in black and white. Hmm. Well maybe I'd better say I just became the gym leader. More importantly, we need to prepare for welcoming you to the gym. Okay? We have a challenger. You two take, take your places. So obviously we're meant to fight these guys. If you defend these two, I then I'll be your opponent. Can't we just walk past them and fight him? Uh, I guess I guess not. Let's fight. Hold up. Cherin saw a potential in me and made me a, a trainer in this gym. Okay, bro. Okay, okay. I, I understand that. So yeah, let's fight the first trainer. You are fancy. You are challenged by Pedro. So yeah, it was mentioned that fine type Pokemon will excel in this gym, but like I said, there's not really any fine type Pokemon other than Rayolu. So it's not really worth our time, is it? No, but as you can see, these trainers are pretty powerful. A level nine Patrat. Thank God we got a stab based move. Like the guy said earlier, if you've got any other type which isn't a fine type. You're gonna struggle with this fight. And it's all about sheer strength. And as you can see, this tackle move is actually doing some crazy damage to us. But as you know, Daco, the boss, is super powerful. And that's how he does it. You know, he, he doesn't mess around. He doesn't mess around. And he goes to level 12, which is always good. And what do we get? Nothing. Okay. And then Lollipop. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention we leveled up in the last episode and we actually got Rap. Uh, Rap is a move that I'm never gonna use because I hate it. It's a load of rubbish. And it's probably not my, it's not even close to my favorite move. And Daco was identified. Don't know what Oda Sleuth does, but might determine weaknesses or something. But uh, Tackle is fine, it's fine. So I want to talk to you guys about the whole um, Pokemon Sun and Moon. It's actually getting closer and closer. And I don't really want to give like information about it because there's a little bit of chance to do that. But I'm really excited for it. It has come around so fast, and I'm really looking forward to it. Like it's one of those things like games like that. Yeah, if you can defeat the girl too, you can challenge the gym leader. I know I can. What up? Fight me. No, I'll show you what I've learned from Cherin. Okay, fine by me. But yeah, um, I'm really looking forward to Sun and Moon. It's, it's kind of a different element, and it's also like Z moves and stuff. I'm hoping it goes more in depth with the whole Zygarde thing from the X and Y games. But um, only time will tell with that. But it's one of those things I am so looking forward to that. I don't know why I'm really into Pokemon again. I think it's that this channel's actually revitalized my love for Pokemon, especially with Pokemon Go and everything. I feel like I'm so into it again, which I'm so happy. Like. It's one of those things with YouTube and stuff. It's hard for me to... Like, I get bored of games because I play them that much. Like, normally a game will take me two or three months to beat, like, an RPG. And I get really bored of them. But with, with recently, I'm just, like, back into them. Like, I've, I've not really grown up. I'm still playing these games, and I really love that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm never going to really grow up because I'm always going to be playing these games. But, Patriot, pretty easy to win. You know what I mean? Bye, bye. Bye, doggy. Now my dog just left the room. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, um, level 9, it's fine, and Daku actually goes to level 13, which I'm always about that experience, you know. Daku is going to take a while to, ex uh, uh, we're going to keep on moves, Daku is going to take a long time to actually get close to evolving, but we actually get up there for knowledge to tr to be truly become your own, or something, I don't bloody know, that takes us too fast. Okay, you're pretty good, but can you beat Cheren? We'll see. I think what we're going to do is going to go and heal up, so. So guys, we are back, we've healed up. And let's go and take Cherry on. So I want to talk to you guys really quickly before we actually start this gym. I'm going to be showcasing the Pokemon that he uses on both easy and normal mode. Uh, as well as challenge mode later on after the fight's done. It's just because it makes it easier. But yeah, let's fight Cherin. What's up Cherin? You're tapping his foot. What are you doing here, bro? Just just as this is your first Pokemon challenge, this is my first Pokemon battle as a gym leader. Let's both do our best and have a battle we can prove of. So yeah, uh, I'm going to be showcasing what Pokemon he's got to start with. So if you play on easy mode, he starts with a level 10 Patrat. If you play normal mode, it's a level 11 Patrat. It knows tackle, work up, and bite. These moves do not change, like, we, we change. they're just lower level, pretty much. So like I said, I'm going to be showing challenge mode after we've actually beaten it, like a little diagram, because it's so much easier. Like, these Pokemon are difficult, and if you are fighting the um, the more challenging mode, it's got an extra Pokemon, it's kind of like, I don't, wanna, I don't know how I'm going to include that otherwise. So I'm going to do a little diagram after we've won this fight. So, uh... I, to, to have chosen that move, I see a powerful Pokemon. It's fine, Jerry. We got this anyway. Uh, we're just going to keep willing his HP down. We have got uh, P Dove if we really have to, and I love P Dove. He's going to use a potion. A lot of gym leaders use potions just to heal up a Pokemon. It makes a battle last long. It makes it more eventful, I guess. It's only good against like um, the Elite Four, pretty much, when I'm going to be using them, just because potions are so useful for stalling, especially if you're only using two Pokemon. You have to stall and revise and hope for, hope for the best, pretty much. So, uh, yay, Patrick fainted. 
And that's an easy win. And his next Pokemon will be a Lipop. Level 12 on easy or level 13 on normal. It knows Tackle, Work Up and Bite. So, uh, it's a pretty easy fight. Another thing is his money changes depending on the version you're playing. If you're playing on um, easy easy mode, you'll get 1440 HP. Uh, 40, 40 Poké Dollars. But on normal mode, you'll see that we get some indifferent in a second. But yeah, I've got a feeling we can win this. Or not, if he gets a critical. Jesus Christ, Lollipop. Good shot, man. Get in there, Nagi. Show us how it's done. Yes. I'm still watching Danganronpa, by the way, if anyone's wondering. So still watching that. Don't give spoilers, please. But work up. Work up is actually a really good move. It does higher damage, and I think it does higher speed, isn't it, right? Attack rolls and special attack. He, he might go for a sweep here. I hope he doesn't, but he might do. Okay, just keep attacking, just keep attacking. Tackle, it shouldn't kill us. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. It did a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Um, I, I'm going to go for a quick attack here. I, I think it's faster than me, and I just want to get some damage down. I've got a feeling he is going to die here. Sorry, Nagi. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're going to go into Ryolu here. I hope Ryolu is faster. They say fighting's a better type of advantage here. This gym is fight. It's is hard. Let's go for a quick attack. Come on. Kill it. Come on. No. No, Ryolu. We live it. Come on, live it, live it, live it. No. He's literally got one hit left. I'm, I'm literally going into desperate straights here. Oh, come on. Come on, man. Don't, 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 don't lose it. Go for a tackle, come Patrick, be faster. No, no, I think I've, I honestly think I've lost this, this fight, guys. I think I've lost it. That Pokemon is powerful. Don't get me wrong, it is powerful. Oh my god, um, let's go for a tackle. I'm hoping he does something stupid. He didn't, he won me. GG, Sharon, oh my god, that's a first loss. What? I paid $104, damn blacked out. Jesus Christ, I can't believe we lost. I mean, guys, back at the gym. So Deku just go to level 14, and I think what I'm going to try here, I'm actually going to go and stay, stay in, I'm actually going to go for a lot of Leers, just to lower his defense. As a gym leader, I ain't a war for, for you to come overcome. It's fine, Leer. That Lillipop's powerful, especially this early on. I'm not going to lie, in the black and white games, they also had trouble with that normal gym, which was the second gym in that game. But Work Up is obviously just going to increase his power and power and power. But if we keep lowering in his, his, um, his defense, we could probably try to go for like a one hit or a two hit. We have got Pidov, which does have a fast move, and I'm pretty sure Gust is a physical move. I might be wrong there, but we're going to go into Pidov now, and we're going to go for a quick quick attack. A high priority move is always going to hit first. I'm hoping we can win this. Come on. I believe in you, Pidov. I believe in you, Nagi. Come on. Get critical. Okay, that's good. That's good. Work up. It's fine. We have won this, but by sheer luck. <laughs> I think that was the best, best strategy. This, that, that Lollipop is powerful, especially with work ups. It can sweep, man. I feel like we're gonna win. I feel like he's gonna live. Yep. Nagi is powerful. And let's go for the last quick attack. And we win! Lollipop would have been faster, I think, just because like, it was one level higher. And Nagi grew 230 experience. My god, that battle was intense, like, seriously. Leo Chirin, this is what a real battle is. And we got 1560. So yeah. This battle has made me feel really glad that you were my first challenger as a gym leader. I will give you the honor of the strength you and your Pokemon showed. And we get. The basic badge, and it allows Pokemon up to level 20 to obey me, and it also um, even those who actually got obtained by trades. It also allows us to actually get TM83, which is work up, which is the move that he's been using. And uh, yeah, like I said, you go take this, and as you can see, he did get 120 more cash than he did previously. TM83 can teach your move, can can teach your Pokemon the move work up. When, when, you, when you use work up while battling, it raises the user's attack and special attack. By the way, TMs can be used as many times as you want. In the you know region, there are 8 gym battles. If, if, if you're a trainer, you collect them all. And that will make it easier to fill up the page of the Pokedex as well. Yes, two years ago, my Pokedex in my hand, I left for a journey with my friends. It was actually on this exact day. So yeah, let's look through the challenge mode, or the hard mode, Pokemon you would have. So first off, you would have a patch at level 12, it knows tackle, work up, bite and detect. Uh, he would have a Pidov, level 12, it knows Quick Attack, Work Up, Leer, and Growl, and he would also have a Lollipop, level 14, which knows Tackle, Work Up, Bite, Helping Hand, and he also had a Help, Aaron Berry, so uh, that's pretty cool, but I think the first time to end of the episode, we got the first badge, and yes, I shall see you guys next time for more Pokemon Black and White 2, where we're going to actually head out and try to go to the next town and take on that gym. I shall see you guys next time for more Pokemon Black and White 2. I'll see you guys then. Peace.